everyone catch up so I'm just going to do a quick video showing how I use MSI Afterburner um, so I use it to set a custom uh, curve for my overclocking and for my uh, fan control for fan control click on settings fan tab and then you can click on the option to enable it and it allows you to find a custom or it has a default out of box one and so what I tend to do is I tend to like my fan to be whatever my temperature is so if the temperature is 60 degrees I want the fan to be running at 60% uh, so that's how I set up mine and once you okay that you can see that became highlighted the little icon and um, that shows it's enabled click it and that means it's not using the fan, fan curve click it again and it is using it um, just so you know and then the next bit is um, MSI can automatically work out your overclock for you so if you click on this it pops up um, this window which shows you your current um, sort of overclocking curve your power um, and speed usage you click on this option and it gives you this window where you can either test your existing curve um, or you can start analyzing uh, or scanning your um, card and it will run through some tests so I'm going to speed this bit up because it takes 20 minutes normally and you'll see the curve change okay so it's finished took about 20 minutes and you can see here that it's recommended um, the overclock of 180 odd uh, megahertz there um, once done that click on save or apply even sorry so that's applying it so it's applying the curve after I've done that I up the power and the temperature limit apply it again save it select a profile to save it to and that's the job done basically um, and the other thing you can do is you can um, go into your settings if you want and um, make those sort of like start up by default but as you can see there reset it to normal click on the profile that I saved it under and it applies it all see there that it didn't actually um, apply the fan uh, the custom fan curve there um, so make sure that uh, you click on that uh, once you load it and where you want it to load certain profiles by default you can do it here in the settings profile tabs so you can select whichever one you want so we saved it under number three so that means whenever it launches an application in 2d or 3d it will automatically um, apply that profile um, so if we uh, reset it close it down then we'll open it up again and it's automatically applied it there and again you can see there it hasn't um, applied uh, the usage of the fan curve that we wanted um, so just make sure you check that um, and that's it okay thanks for watching and um, I hope you're all good and I'll catch you next time cheers bye bye